Hi guys, this is Jenna from Artstitution. Um, we had a request for a flamingo, so I came up with this little guy. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to paint him today. Um, <clears throat> if you guys are uh, new to this paint thing, <laughs> uh, or if you've never painted with us before, um, here's a few things. I've got uh, my egg carton of acrylic paints. Um, I have a lot in there just so I don't have to refill during this video. Um, you don't need this much. If you have paint left over, you can throw it in a Ziploc bag. That'll help you kind of save your supplies if you don't have time to paint um, <clears throat> after this, uh, this session. I've got three paint brushes. Um, this big guy will use on um, really just the background and the water. Um, and then the middle one we'll use to uh, mix your colors. Uh, I'll paint with him as well. And then the little one we'll use later just for those tiny little details. Um, and I have paper plates and paper towels and a water cup to mix our brushes. So um, I'll show you how to mix up these colors. Uh, feel free to change up your color palette any way that you want to. Um, obviously, if you change colors, you can still follow what I'm doing. Just, uh, mine are just, that's just what I wanted to do. Um, <clears throat> so with that, um, try to keep your paint thin because it's a few different, like a few of the different spots are a few layers that we're going to have to do. So to paint on top of it, the um, paint needs to be dry underneath. Although, when I do the grass and the feathers, some of the paint might still be wet when you're going through. But if when you're painting on top, if it, if it doesn't, um, sometimes if it's too wet, it'll like wipe off the paint that's there. It won't add any more paint to it. So just leave that for a little bit if that's happening and then just go back to it later and you can add to it. Um, also, if you don't already uh, subscribe to the Artstitution channel. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you do end up painting any of our videos, uh, if you could post them, we'd love to see. Um, and just, you know, have fun with it. Uh, we're here if you need any help, just shoot us a message. All right. Move these over here. So here we go. So we're going to paint the sky and then we're going to go down into the water. So to mix those colors, um, I'm going to do this teal color. I'm going to do like a kind of a light blue. I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to do four, four big scoops of white. And then I'm going to do a scoop of blue and a scoop of green. And I'm going to mix that up and try to keep it kind of in like a pile as you're mixing it. That way it doesn't dry out on, on your plate. So try to keep it up like in a thick pile. All right, so my green is pretty strong. I'm going to add just a little bit of blue. And when we do this, we're actually going to add white into it. So it'll make this color lighter on your canvas too. So keep that in mind as you're mixing up your color. All right, so now I'm gonna mix my water. So this is kind of like a bluish gray, but I'm gonna keep this teal on my brush here. So I'm gonna do a scoop of blue, tiny little bit of black, and then just scoop from the side from your white so it doesn't mix into the whole, the whole thing here. Now I was going for a kind of like a gray, darker blue. You can do your water really any color you'd like, but I wanted mine to have kind of a gray tone to it. I'm gonna add a little bit more black. All right. 
Okay, there's my two colors that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to start with my sky so that uh, medium brush, sorry, brain freeze. That medium brush you can just put into your water cup because we're going to use the big brush. And I'm going to put a scoop of two scoops of white on my plate just so I have fresh white on my plate for when I'm doing my sky. Okay, so when you're doing your sky, I have my strokes going up and down just because I like I like how that looks. You don't have to do that. You also don't have to have your teal, um, you know, striped with white. Really, it's completely up to you what you want to do. You can paint your edges as you're going around too. And now these, so my water starts a little higher than what I'm going down to. That's okay. So as you're going, you're going to stripe in this teal and then just add some white to it here and there just to give it another kind of a texture, another color tone. And you don't have to, you don't have to keep up with me as we're, as you're uh, watching. I tend to paint pretty fast. That's just how it comes out. I can't help it. It's how it's always been. Um, but you can pause if you need to and come back. And just have fun with it. Okay. So once you have your sky, we're gonna go right into our water so that it has, so that it you get that kind of blended in, blurry kind of background line. Okay, so there's my sky. Sorry, some of those brush strokes I could see and they were, weren't straight. So now when you go in with your water, I'm going to use my medium brush just because I like the, the control over it and it gives me kind of smaller strokes as I'm going through. So your big brush you can put in your water cup and then your medium brush, just make sure you wash it really good and dry it. And I'm going to go right in with my water color. So this teal color and you're going to kind of stroke up the way. So I'm going to go a little bit lower than where I want my water to go. And I'm going to just stroke it up and see how it blends it into the green. So it gives you kind of like a blurred line. Okay. So just work your way across, make sure you go over Oop, make sure you go over where your, you know, where your sky strokes came down so you don't see that. And you're just going to blend that in to your sky. Now as you work your way down, don't worry about the grass, we're going to come back to that. I'm going to stroke in some of my sky color into the blue, just because I like when it has different color um, lines in there. All this here, even this too, like all that we'll come back to later. Right now you're just worrying about that. Almost like this blur, have this blur part come all the way down so that it all kind of looks the same. You can stroke some white in there if you want to. I'm just using my sky, the sky color so that it has that same color tone to it. So that's what you're going for. So now when we go back, we're going to do the grass now. 
that will blend in a little bit more into the water. So rinse your middle brush, dry him really good, and then we're going to mix up a dark, dark green. Um, so to do that, I'm going to do two scoops of green. Um, you can do red. I'm going to do black for now. But what you're going to do is just do tiny little bits at a time. You don't want it to be too overpowering right away. And you're going for like a deep army green kind of a color. You want it to be pretty dark. It's going to mix into your background color. So it's going to lighten it up anyway. And we're going to come back and actually add a dark red in there um, to make those shadowy pieces. All right, so here's what you're going to do now. I'm going to add it a little bit darker to put on, sorry. Okay, so you've got your dark green. Now, you can use your little brush if you want to. I like to use my medium brush when I do grass, anything like this that has like thin blades that go up. Um, use your paper towels and you're going to pinch your brush so that it makes like a super thin like razor blade piece and then when you go to get your paint just make sure you get your paint like this flip it over so that you're like flattening your brush even more okay so like flat on this side flip it flat on this side and then it still is super thin so you're going to kind of figure out where this island part is going to be you're not going to paint it in yet. I'm going to do the grass first and you're just going to flick up these grass pieces and see how it's, it's almost, it's the green isn't um, showing up because this paint is still wet, but that's okay. Cause you want, you want some of these kind of shadowy grass pieces too. And if you get a thick line, it just means your brushes, brushes spread out. So just go back and flatten it out again. Now, you can do some higher pieces, but right now you're just going to fill in. This is almost just like a base coat for where your grass is. Have them go in different directions. They don't need to go like straight up and down, all of them anyway. And then just have them come out a little bit. Don't worry if these aren't really showing up on your canvas. This is just, you know, a, um, like an undertone almost of when you put in your grasses, okay? All right, so now you're gonna kind of brush in some of the green into the water. Now, my blue is already pretty dry So if you need to, you can go back with your watercolor and kind of brush in to blend these colors together. And I'm just doing little strokes and you're just gonna blend in the island kind of into where your water is. You can add some white if you wanna lighten up front. The white that I have on top of the darker green, we'll do that later, so that you don't need to do. We're gonna come back and add more green to this. So this is what you're going for right now. You're just kind of building up that island, okay? So don't worry about the darkest green. That will come back too. And the white that's on top of the island will come back to that too. <clears throat> okay, so first step for our grass. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Flatten out your green on your brush. Figure out kind of where your island is supposed to go. So now this one, I, I started off, I had it a little 
farther back, kind of higher, you can have them meet. It ended up that they were kind of at the same spot anyway, level coming across, but that's up to you when you're going in here. And same thing, just start to start to paint in your grass strokes. Again, it's going to mix into your blue. It might not even draw out. That's okay, just keep going back. Flattening out your brush, don't forget about that. So you get those thin, grassy pieces. Overlap them, have some go to the left, to the right, straight up. You want kind of different directions with your grass. Just for fun. Okay, and then same thing, just kind of brush in. You can use, like I'm kind of using the side of my brush so that it's tinier brush stroke pieces. My blue is pretty dry over here too, so I'm gonna go in with my watercolor, that dark blue. Just kind of brush into your grass that you just did and so that it kind of blends in to your water. And then brush down. Add some white. Okay. If you want to lighten up down here, you can. Whoa, there's a lot of green on my brush. And right now, like if your blue is dry and you're going over with the white and it's just painting over top of it, just go back with some of your watercolor and just go in the, the opposite direction. If your blue's dry and you want to add white to it but it's just painting over, add a little more blue so that the blue is wet. And this you can lighten up with your sky color too if you want to add your sky in here. Kind of lighten up this middle part a little bit. There's the darker blue and the pink in there. We'll do that after we do the flamingo. So don't worry about that yet. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and add a little more green to this side. So same thing, make sure your brush is flat. And you can add some more pieces. You can try to go over the pieces that you have if you wanna make them a little bit darker. want some taller, some taller guys. So with these tall ones, I'm kind of starting like halfway up and going up from there. And then just have another piece kind of overlap it at the bottom. Oops. And then if any of your bottoms come back, see already like this green is dry. So when you go back over top with this darker green, it's already making that, you're already getting that top shadowy piece. You can do that if, you're, if your green is dry or your water is dry, you can go over it now. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, when you're doing this, try not to cover, you still want to see the water through it, so try not to cover all of that with grass so that you can still see, like there's still some airflow in between. All right, I think that's good with my grass, except this little piece here. Okay, and then you can do 
some of those green and that dark piece. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, rinse and dry your brush off really good. what it is about this video, these videos and me coughing. <coughs> like a tickle. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so, flamingo. Then we'll come back and do some of the red. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Okay. <coughs> We're going to make up, sorry, a dark pink. So I'm going to do a little bit of white, a scoop of yellow, two scoops of red. I'm going to go back. I need more white, I think. <coughs> so sorry. Luckily, this cough isn't contagious over the, uh, <laughs> through the video. It's fine. Allergies. Okay. So now, my dark pink. This is going to be the base to the flamingo. We're going to kind of go back and forth with colors. Um, we'll add a darker pink, a lighter pink. This is just going to be the base coat for it. So with that, oh, is there some blue still left over on my brush? Um, I'm going to paint with that medium brush. If you feel more comfortable using your tiny brush, do that. Um, but it's up to you the legs I'm going to come back to, but just try to kind of picture where you want his body to go. That's what, that's what you're working on right now. So it's kind of a circle. Um, and they, it kind of, um, thins out at the bottom. So when you're doing this, I'm going to start, I'm going to start right at the bottom kind of almost in line with like your tall grass pieces. And I'm just gonna draw kind of where his legs are gonna go. Okay, now all these brush stroke pieces, those are all gonna be your feather edges. It doesn't need to be a solid edge, like a solid line when you're doing this. So this is where his legs are gonna go. I'm gonna go up a little bit, cause that'll be where his neck goes up, and then I'm going to, from here, kind of curl. And draw out his body. Now, I think I want him to be a little bit bigger. And see, these lines I'm keeping, because those are going to be kind of the edges of his feathers. You want that texture in there those fluffy little things. Okay. And now this, this, um, his neck will come up from here. I'm going to draw this down. I'm going to keep this shape though. Um, sorry, this shape, this shape here. So it almost looks like the feathers kind of overlap. So I'm going to paint it in like that. And if your blue is still wet and it picks up some of that blue, that's okay because we're going to add some blue back into it anyway later. And then I'm going to go up with his neck. And it's going to curve a little bit back. Um, when I get up to his head here, I'm going to switch over to my little brush, but for now, keep it here, okay. Yeah, I think it'll work. All right, so when his head starts to go, when it starts to bend down, I'm going to have his head kind of just a little bit, be a little bit thicker than what his neck was. 
And again, if the blue from the background um, gets into your pink, don't worry about it. You can go over it later. So for now, I'm just going to go down to about there. Um, the white and the black, that's the end of the beak, we can come back to later and fill in. I'm just going to do that part now. So for the legs, sorry, I'm just spreading this out so it dries here. It's a little thick. All right, so now for the legs, I'm going to use my medium brush, just like I showed you before, like a razor. <clears throat> if you want to use your little brush, you can. It's up to you. But make sure you make it really thin. Oh, sorry, with your tiny brush. Let's make these uh, the base leg pieces. They're triangles. Now this one I'm going to have going straight down here. The other one is tilted almost like back a little bit. Not too dramatic, but just a little. And then you can fluff in some feather pieces if you want to. Around. Okay, so now, legs. I'm going to do that front one first, and I'm just going to go straight down to the water. Don't hold your breath or hold your breath. Just make sure to breathe after, whatever's easiest for you. And then for the next guy, um, I'm going to have it cross over this one. So I'm going to have it go back a little bit and then over, ooh, over a little bit. Well, I guess it's going to be a thick part, a thick leg. Is my brush separated here? Okay. Alright, so since that guy got a little big, I'm going to make my other one a little bit thicker there, okay? Uh, his foot, I'm going to um, kind of like just draw in like fingers like four pieces just kind of dangling there from his foot. Um, you can add to that later. All right, so now you've got your feet. If, <clears throat> if your legs got too thick, you can go back with your background color or your watercolor if you need to. Okay, um, so now we're gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm going to add a, or mix up a dark red so we can do some of the grass part. So for that, I'm gonna do a scoop of red and a scoop of green. And you're looking for a, it almost turns kind of like a purpley color. See that there? That's what I'm going for. I'm gonna use that for my shadow. Now I don't have that throughout the grass, I just have little pieces of it. So almost just like little accents of this color. So same thing, pinch your brush, make sure it's thin, and you're just gonna go along some of the pieces with this color. Maybe like some of the ones that cross over, overlap. Um, and then I'll do some on the bottom here. You don't need it throughout. Okay, like I'm just gonna do those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight blades of grass I added some red to, just to give you an idea. And then this side, same thing. Maybe just do like the pieces that kind of overlap, because that'll be the darkest spot anyway. And then I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm gonna go back to my green, my original green. 
I'm going to scoop a little bit off to the side and I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. To make it a little bit lighter. Okay, and then this I'm going to go over some of those red pieces that I just did so that now that lighter green also has that red tone in it. Okay, same thing on this side. This light green too can be kind of like a highlight piece for your grass. And then I'm going to go in with straight white, but kind of wipe it off on your plate. You'll notice too, I don't really, I don't really rinse my brush off. That's just, I like when all my colors blend together. If you need to for your soul, need to wash your brush off, totally do it. It's not going to do anything differently in a major crazy kind of way. Don't worry. So now this white, I'm going to go over too, and that'll give a whole nother tone and highlight to your grass. Same thing on the other side. And this light green, if you want to add that to your green that's underneath, you can. If it just paints right over top of it, go right back over with your dark green so that it blends in a little bit. It's too white. Just go back over with your green. Go back over with your white. See that? Easy peasy. <laughs> okay. And then you add water if you need to. Kind of blend in a little more you can you want to make it darker underneath okay all right so grassy part is done for now now back up to mr flamingo so before we go into the feathers i want to do the um let's do the beak part then we'll do the eye then we'll do some feathers um with this you can really do if you're more comfortable using your tiny brush, use your tiny brush. Um, it's whatever you're comfortable with. If you feel like you can do it with your medium brush, go for it. Um, but I'm going to, uh, well, I still have my tiny brush, but just two, two little scoops of black. I'm just adding a tiny little bit of white. Um, so really you're making like a dark, really dark, almost black, dark gray. Sorry, something just blew into the window. Okay, um, you're going to, oh, so down from the beak part, we're gonna start with the white, just so it's not so shocking. So with your tiny brush, so you're gonna have a line that goes up to like where the eye is. And then from that, stroke down from your pink to start to kind of form that beak pointy triangle kind of shape. Don't worry if you go up into your pink too high. You're totally fine. You can go over that with the, with the pink. Um, and your shape, it, it's, it's a curved kind of a triangle. If you, it depends how you did your neck, but just make sure you have it match up to the sides of your face okay um, and we're gonna go over it in black from there anyway so now the pink that you drew up to your up to your face that dark pink that was the original flamingo color scoop it off to the side 
keeping the original color, just do a little scoop over here. You're going to add a scoop of white to it. Doesn't need to be a full giant scoop. That may have been too much here. Well, let's see. You don't want it to be too light to start. Because we're going to do, this is going to be almost like the middle pink. Then we're going to add an almost white pink. So you're going to have like three stages of pink here. Okay? So to this. A little light okay so for this pink this we're gonna start to we're gonna start to add kind of all throughout the bird so this light pink draw up from where you have your beak just to kind of blend it into the dark pink here I think it's way too far down. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to that light pink I don't want it to be like a bubble gum. I want it to have a little bit of a, okay, there we go. Like a corally pink. All right, so now as you're going through with this color, you can kind of blend in and you're almost like painting over this dark pink, but we're gonna leave some of it because some of it's gonna be shadowy, but we're gonna come back with a dark pink even on top. So this you're just going to brush over to make sure that you covered up your um, base coat. And I'm just doing kind of brush strokes. I'm not painting the entire thing because I like it when it looks kind of brush strokey. <laughs> that might be a word, I'm not really sure, but you know what I mean. Okay, so you're just giving it another layer with this with the pink. And this dark pink will kind of come through. This light pink. All right, I'm gonna switch over into my medium brush. And now I'm gonna to start to build up this feather part. So the neck, you want this to keep coming down this way. So the neck, I'm gonna keep brushing down. You can do a little over these leg parts that come out if you want to. And then this part, I'm gonna to start to flip up and around. Again, doesn't need to cover up that dark pink. This is just adding another color to it. And then from here, brush these down, deep down. So you're creating this back kind of pinwheel pocket. Okay. Now that you have that done, go in with some white. And these, you can kind of brush, whoa, you don't want a lot on your brush. This you're going over the back body part. Over some of the pink. And I wanna do this when it's wet because it kind of brushes into the pink and blends it a little bit better. Keep those brush strokes going in one direction here. Okay. Now when you go up the body, I'm going to start from the bottom here. And I'm just going to flick in a little bit of that white. Now, I don't have a lot on my brush, and I'm staying kind of at the, the right side of his neck. And I'm gonna work my way up. And then once I get here where it curves, I'm 
So here where it curves, I'm not going to do this piece. I'm going to jump over to the other side where his head is, and I'm going to brush that, that piece. So that it's lighter on the front. Okay, so you see that? Alright, now we're going to mix up this, um, this turquoisey color. Uh, what I did was I used my sky color, oh sorry, rinse your brush off. So the sky color, if you have any of that teal left, which um, mine got sucked into the plate. I'm going to do a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. So that it has the same kind of tone as your background, just a little darker. Turquoisey. Go over here. So you can see my original blue and this color I'm going to use for the feathers. Now, I don't want a lot on my brush. So I'm going to wipe it off and you're not going over, you're, you're almost just putting little brush strokes in and around. Now when you're doing this, if it gets too turquoisey, like when you do a spot, oh my god, I'll start back here by the tail. If you do a spot and if it turns out to be too turquoisey right away, like that, wipe off some of the blue, go back in with your pink and just overlap it where it covers it so just keep kind of playing around with that so with these with this turquoise I'm just adding little bits throughout the back part of her him her not really sure what it is Mr. Flamingo so add little bits of this blue here speckled looking almost and then go back with your darker pink and then just kind of brush into that turquoise that you just did, just to help it blend in a little bit to, to your paint. Okay. Just so it's not so shocking. And then this blue, I also have kind of going up the neck a little bit. So on the back, Part. Just like you did the white on the front, stroke up on the back part with a little bit of this blue, and it'll create kind of like a shadowy color. And then same thing, go back with that dark pink, and I'm going to stay kind of in the middle of the neck. So I'm going over a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the white. Okay. Now, orange, scoop of yellow, like a half scoop of red. And I'm going to do the same thing with this on the feathers. Oh, you know what? Let's do, sorry, let's do the eye first, sorry. We're going to do a white circle where that eye should be. We'll come back to the orange later. So I'm using my tiny brush and the eye meets the that beak stripe which kind of went away here. Let me just add that in there. You can add more white to your beak if you can still see through a little bit. I have it kind of, I don't have a straight edge. I have it kind of like brush strokes up into the pink and then the eye is of an oval shape and it connects to that beak piece okay so now while that's drying which keep it, try to keep it as thin as you can because we've got to add black to it. Actually, we can do that right now. So the beak color that you have, that black gray color that we mixed up, you're going to do kind of like an eyeliner 
around the bottom of the eye and the top over here. So like it's not a it's not a full circle. It's it's there's like a, a black line on this side and then a black line on the top. So like bottom left, top right of the circle. I know the circle doesn't have like corner pieces, but you know what I mean. All right, and now let's do the black for the beak here. Body before we do the orange. So you're gonna go over the black and you're gonna just kind of stroke up. I mean, sorry, go over the white. You're gonna stroke this black up. My brush is crooked. So this line that comes down from the eye, in the center of it is going to be like a white, I mean a, a black piece. And then you're just going to stroke some of this black up into the white. So that the ends are kind of jagged. So you've got the white going kind of up into the black. Okay. Okay. All right, and now your eye. If your white is dry, let's put a black center, a little dot there. We're going to come back and add more white to that, so if it looks kind of funky, you're all right, don't worry. Okay, so now same thing with the orange that we did with the turquoise and the pink. See, the orange I have just kind of in the center of this circle. And watch as you're doing this orange, the orange with the, the blue might make like a brown if you go over it too many times, so just be careful with your brush strokes. Okay, add a little orange. I'm going to go back with a little bit of white just to brighten up. center part here. Okay. All right, now some of this white kind of got blended into that pink. So I'm going to go back now. I don't have much room on the plate here. Let's like, um, Need some room. So this light pink that you have, I'm going to add white to it. So now this is going to be your lightest shade of pink. Okay, a little bit. And that we're going to go around and highlight a little bit more. So you can go, same thing, you can kind of work your way up where you had your white. Any spots that you need to make um, brighter white. And then if you want to, some of those spots you can add straight white. Like the front here would be the brightest piece. Whoa. to separate. Okay. Let's see what else did on this. Oh, the legs here. So to this part here, that light pink that we just did, I'm just going to put some pieces, just some strokes to on the right side, just to give it a little brightness. 
And then on the back, I'm going to do that dark pink color again. Just kind of darken the back part of her little legs. Third hand, I'm so sorry, I keep going back and forth. Um, and then after that light pink, just put a little dash of white on the front, just to brighten up that front part of his leg. And then his feet, that middle, the middle pink color that we did, go over the fingers, fingers, I, I said we kind of drew fingers on him, just to kind of brighten and separate his finger pieces. And then draw the light pink over where it overlaps this leg so that it looks like he's kind of in front of it or behind it. It depends which leg you want in front here. And then we can go over to brighten up parts of the leg. Now the water. I'm going to do with my tiny brush the same kind of like strokes that we did for the water like left and right from where his foot pops in here so do a little bit of the pink and then do a little bit of the dark blue that was the water actually okay. i'm gonna go in with my medium brush i don't like how it, it's making like curved shapes them to be like left to right. Okay. So then these dash pieces, if you want to continue them around, I'm saying dash pieces, just the little brush strokes. You can add more if you need to. And add a little white if you want to brighten it. Okay. All right, so now the last thing we need to do is a uh, darker Okay, so that dark pink that you have, you don't need a lot of this, so just with, this is my tiny brush, I'm just going to move a little bit of it over, and I'm going to add a little more red to it. So that it's a little bit darker and then this this dark red I'm going to do at um, the bait kind of this where where the nose beak piece meets the eye I'm gonna do some dark pieces I mean I'm sorry meets the face I'm gonna do some dark pieces in there underneath here and then same thing add to the beak and then this, think of it kind of like eyeliner. I'm gonna do some strokes around the eye with this dark color, under his head, this curved piece here, and then back here where the blue is, I'm just adding little strokes. I'm not doing complete lines, just to have another color that goes over that blue, just little brush strokes. Okay, and then same thing down here. Think of these like individual feather pieces. Okay, sorry, why are we doing too much paint on my brush? Here, so it's just kind of, um, even though it's the brightest part, I'm just adding kind of another tone of a feather. And you can add these into the back as well. The 
legs too if you want to do the back part to shadow out those legs a little bit more okay now your eye if you need to I'm gonna just add a little bit of white to help that bottom piece so that the black isn't so thick and then to that to that black center part if you want to add a little shine to the eye you can okay Okay, that I just added a little, almost like a V on the top of those uh, feet fingers that you did. <laughs> I just added the lightest pink on top there. Um, I think that's all I have for you for the Mr. Flamingo piece. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I did. I always do. <laughs> um, so, uh, subscribe to our channel, let us know what you think, post pictures on Facebook if you, if you do paint um, any of our paintings. Also, if you have any requests, you can reach out, let us know. I um, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching and painting with me, um, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Alright, take care.